Renewable Resources, Hydroelectric Power Stations by kscience.com. Hydroelectric power plants, what we call renewable resources, this is because they're made at the same rate as they're used. Dams are built to create a reservoir of stored water. So this here is a dam that is built to create a reservoir of stored water. And what I'm drawing here is a turbine. The turbine is connected to a generator. A generator generates electric current. So this here is a generator. Water that is stored in the reservoir behind the dam is allowed to fall down through a turbine. So energy stored in the gravitational potential energy store of the water in the reservoir behind the dam is transferred to the water's kinetic energy store. This in turn is going to be transferred to the kinetic energy store of the turbine. So the turbine rotates, which causes the transfer of energy from the turbine's kinetic energy store to the generator's kinetic energy store. This then causes an electrical current to be generated by the generator, which then connected to the grid. The fast moving water drives the turbine. So now the turbine is being driven. This will then cause the generator to turn. The generator will then generate an electrical current. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So water stored in reservoir has energy in its gravitational potential energy store. This is then transferred to the water's kinetic energy store as it begins to move very fast. This then turns the turbine. And kinetic energy from the turbine drives the generator. And kinetic energy from the turbine drives the generator. So the kinetic energy store from the water is transferred to the kinetic energy store of the turbine, which is then transferred to the kinetic energy store of the generator, which would then generate an electric current. Generate an electric current. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. They are very expensive to build. As you can see here, they are very large structures and they're very polluting to build as well. This is because they use concrete and lots of it. So they're very polluting to build. But once built, it produces no pollution. There is no pollution produced. When a dam is built, reservoirs of water can potentially flood large areas of inhabited land. This can damage human and animal habitats. However, it does generate a constant electric current if there is no drought. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.